A ban on pit bulls in Kansas City, Kansas could soon be a thing of the past, and that could save a lot of money. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plague explains how much money has been spent to enforce this ban. This pit bull ban has been in place for nearly 30 years, and animal activists are saying it's putting a huge strain on the community. And they're crossing their fingers that this ban will be uplifted so that little girls like Lilo will get placed into loving homes in KCK. The Humane Society of Greater Kansas City helps Kansas City, Kansas' animal shelter care for abandoned and abused dogs. Well, half the time it's a pit bull, and we can't adopt them out here in Kansas City, Kansas. So we have to try to find a, a good home elsewhere, and that means taking them to Olathe, taking them to KC Mo. And quite honestly, people get them anyway. The pit bull ban in KCK is on the verge of being lifted. A UG committee voted on it Monday night, and it heads to the full commission at the end of the month. There already is a dangerous dog ban in KCK, and that was in 2014. So having this pit bull breed specific law is just a waste of valuable income and time, and quite frankly, strain on our community. KCK's Animal Services told the committee they spend a quarter of their million dollar budget on breed specific services. So animal control officers are spending more time going out on a call that might be a pit bull rather than focusing on all the calls. A pit bull stays at the UG shelter 71 days on average compared to 52 days for a non pit bull. And they're paying us to go down and care for those animals on top of what we do and it costs us a lot of money to take those on and house them for however long it may be. There are still many who feel the ban should stay. However, a 2016 community survey showed that 83% of the people said the ban should go. Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.